Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. Today I'm going to be talking about trimmers and I will be doing a review of the Tonic Studios Tim Holtz 8.5 inch guillotine and the Tonic Studios 12 inch, 12 inch wide base guillotine as well. Um, to start off with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tip on how to make the blades of the Stampin' Up! trimmer last a little bit longer and as you're aware Stampin' Up! is retiring this trimmer. I have to say I'm quite sad because I love the way this trimmer is set out. I love that it has that pull-out arm, doesn't take up much real estate on your desk and um, the measurements are all on the base of the trimmer which makes measuring your cardstock really really easy and I love that you can score and cut on the same uh, on the same arm you don't have to remove anything it all works with both of them on there unlike some other trimmers on the market um, and as you're aware as well the blades are still in circulation however they sell out very quickly and only just last week we had the blades here in Australia come in and they went out of stock within 15 minutes it was unbelievable and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tip on how to make your blades last a little bit longer I've got a whole heap of blades behind here um, I've got a spare score I've got one that's for glitter cardstock and then I've got a whole heap of blades. This is going to last me quite a long time because I'm only going to be using this trimmer now for exact scoring with, uh, because I love how it's got both imperial and metric measurements on this trimmer. So this trimmer will be for fancy kind of cuts um, and for you know exact scoring things like that I will keep this trimmer for a very very long time but I'm going to show you how to make the blades last that little bit longer and I have found uh, a tip that was done by Frenchie Stamps using WD-40 I have shared this in another video but I'm going to share it again in the context of trimmers so it's all in the one video so with the WD-40 you have to be really careful to get one that is safe for use on plastics so this um, is really a, a, an appropriate one because there's different kinds of WD-40s so this is a silicon lubricant and it's for use on metal, plastic, rubber and wood and it waterproofs and protects against moisture and it prevents parts from sticking so as you can see they've even got parts from plumbing, metals so this is a really good WD-40 the other WD-40s that are on, my, on the market can be corrosive so you've got to be very careful and plastics are one of these things that You've got to be careful with because it is plastic and it can melt if it's a solvent kind of um, a WD-40 so I find that this one's a good one so what I'm going to do to clean this up you don't need much I've just got a paper towel kitchen towel I'm just going to spray just a tiny amount just right on the edge there and as you can see that's all you need you don't need much at all this will last me a long time and it's good to have around the house so what I do with this uh, part here is I clean the tracks to make sure that they are um, well lubricated. So to start off with what I'm going to do is just get a little piece of cardstock, just a tiny piece. I'm going to put that underneath there and I'm just going to make sure it's really thin. And I'm going to push it into the, the track here. And as you can see, look at the lint that comes out and dirt. That just builds up, you know, with all your cuts and what have you. So you did this a couple of times. You don't have to do much. And it just keeps everything going inside there nice and easy. Okay. With that same, with the, the cardstock just there, you don't have to do much. You can clean the inside of the tracks of your um, arm here. And do the same on the underside as well. Okay, so just clean underneath. And with the blade, all I did was just wipe it with the um, WD-40. And as you can see, look at that, it's good to go. It's awesome. You can use that also to clean any sticky bits off your trimmer. But I'm finding that this is awesome. And I'll just clean inside the track again. And that's all you need uh, to keep this up. I find that what gives you the horrible cuts 
is the stuff that's inside the track and it butchers the paper and it makes it really yuck. Now, the last time I did this video, I showed you how to clean it. I'm still on the same blade and it is still giving me good cuts. Also, you can um, add, not add, but you can use some aluminium foil. Just give me one sec, I forgot to take some out and I'll be with you. I've got some foil. If you find that your blades are kind of go getting a little bit weird, uh, they're starting to kind of um, give you a little frayed edge, like I'll show you here. That's doing well actually. <laughs> but anyway, what you can do is you can double over a piece of um, aluminium foil and you can just do that. Just cut through. You can make it fold it into fours or fifths. And then you can cut through. See all that? And it just sharpens the blade as well. So as you would with a punch, you can do that with this as well. So that's now quite sharp. You cut actually it cut a really nice edge. Look at that. So there's little tricks here just to help your blades last longer because after September of this year, Stampin' Up! will no longer be bringing in the blades. So they will come into stock every so often. They will let the demonstrators know whichever market you're in. And then you can... Um, you can pick up some from there. But I stocked up big time and I want to make sure that I can use this trimmer for, you know, my fancy cuts and things. So whilst I've got the WD-40 on here, I'm just going to clean that out with the foil to make sure it gets, it gets out of the track. So it comes out. Some down here too, which I will remove. Out it goes. So, so I have to say I am really pleased with this WD-40 trick. It really does help your blades last longer. And um, what I'm going to do now, see it's still stuff comes out, is give you a demonstration of a cut with the blades all serviced there. So I've got some scrap piece I was practicing on with different things. So. Beautiful clean cut straight. That's I love this trimmer and I'm really sad it's retiring, but I've decided that I'm not going to buy any more of these kinds of trimmers anymore. Um, I'm going to keep what I have and I've got enough supplies to last me for a very long time. Uh, this will last me for a few years. So that's that with that one. So if you like that tip, you can free to use it and that will help your blades to last that little bit longer. Um, I, for a long time, have been a fan of Tonic Studios things, generally. I've got the 8.5 inch trimmer from Tonic Studios, 10 volts. I've got some washi tape here just to help with markings because my eyesight's not that great these days. But this is really helpful for card making. Um, it cuts beautifully every single time and it's got measurements in both imperial and in metric so this trim is great if you're doing card making so I'll show you how it cuts so I've got some really thick 300 GSM I think yeah it's 300 GSM uh, glossy cardstock for invitations okay so I'm just going to cut just a sliver off so you can see how clean it does so I'll just cut a little bit off the edge here check that out beautiful clean cut awesome and then I've got some watercolor paper let's see that's this one being cut that's quite thick too and I'm cutting off really tiny pieces oh hang on a second <laughs> I've, I've kind of fell underneath my okay there see that thin nice and they're thick that's that's from watercolor paper and that's quite thick now I've got some foam that's usually really hard to cut and the last time I used the Stampin' Up! trimmer and it didn't cut very well so let's try this out I haven't tried foam before but I'm going to give it a try that's just fun foam that cuts it off like butter look at that 
amazing. Then I've got the Sellies Liquid Nails. This is a really tough, almost like chipboard. We'll see how this handles it. Hopefully I don't wreck it. Like butter. So good. So this trimmer, this little trimmer is great for card bases. Um, it goes six inches across and it goes up to eight and a half inches long. That is my only bugbear with this trimmer is that it doesn't do large pieces. But if you're just doing little card bases all the time, then this trimmer is for you. I love, I actually use this a lot and I'm replacing that with the Stamp It Up trimmer I have. So I cut all of my bases and panels and everything with this trimmer. Um, so I don't use up the blades of the other trimmer. So that's going to last me a long time. So that's the Tonic Studios 8.5 inch guillotine. Love it, love it, love it. Now, because that base is so small, uh, so, you know, short and not as long as I'd like it to be, I shelled out and I bought the Tonic Studios 12-inch base guillotine. Um, this is a great, great uh, trimmer as well. It cuts just like the small one to bring that out and it's the big mama of trimmers this one this is a huge one it has a full 12 inch base um, it has a handle that's kind of fallen out at the back here <laughs> hang on a second so you have a handle I'll bring that up and you just pop it in okay so that's the handle there popped in so it's a full 12 inch base trimmer um, I love this thing and especially for your long pieces of cardstock this will cut it beautifully and it just goes for the full it goes up to 12 and a half inches actually and you've got measurements up here and down here in the middle and also down the bottom it doesn't have a lip down the bottom but the measurements are there so this is for my big 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock or if I want to do anything long I will also show you how this cuts and I think it cuts like butter as well. So let's trim off this really ugly piece here. So I'm just going to put up my blade here. Use my guard here to hold that down and cuts it like butter. Check that out. That's the scummy end there. Look at that. That cut, I'll bring that down otherwise I'll cut myself. That cut it just beautifully and straight. Here is the watercolor paper again. I'm going to trim some of that off, a little bit of it off. Put the guards down, make sure it's butted right up onto to the top there. And this cuts it even easier than the, the smaller guillotine. So that's this one. It's more heavy duty. These are self-sharpening blades, so you'll never have to worry about uh, blades again, which is why I bought this trimmer. I don't want to fiddle around with buying blades all the time. So again thick cardstock here, invitation style, 300 GSM, cuts it like butter, it's effortless, look at that, you can do small cuts, the cuts are beautiful, no fuzzies, no funny business, just beautiful, again, a thick cardstock here, put that against here, card down, again, cuts it like butter, really, really good. Now I've got some cereal box here. Just gonna cut off a little bit here. I'll just do this way because it doesn't fit right across, but cut that. Dead easy. Clean, beautiful cut. So if you don't want to fiddle around with blades. And, you know, shelling out on a trimmer and then you find out years to come, they retire the whole trimmer and you're left with a paperweight. Go for a trimmer such as a guillotine like this one if you want to have a 12 inch wide base. I got mine from Amazon. I had to bring it in from the US to Australia because they don't sell them here readily. Um, I haven't been able to find any to be honest. And so I bought mine in on Amazon and I have loved this trimmer. I'm in love with this trimmer a lot. 
cuts beautifully, cuts all sorts of materials, not a problem, just goes right through this self sharpening. So if you find it gets a little bit blunt, which it never will, but just do this and your blades are sharp again. Doesn't take much. I love, love, love this trimmer. So I highly recommend um, getting a guillotine such as this. I'm going to put this back. And it leads, see it leave, the handle lives underneath there. I highly recommend getting a trimmer such as this. You will not regret it. It will stay sharp for you for years to come. I've read lots of reviews on this trimmer and I have to say I'm very impressed with it. Again, I've got little markings here for my most cut um, bases and, and card stocks and what have you. It's all going to be using that. Um, this has um, half inch uh, grids, so that makes measuring a bit easy. Um, I love using these because I find it's just easier for me to line it up. So this is just washi tape, nothing you know permanent or anything like that. I highly recommend the wide base and I also recommend this one if you're doing lots of card making as well. Um, with chipboard, I'm just going to sharpen this now, there's no need to, but hey, if you want to see it on, with Stampin' Up! cardstock, where is it? Here it is. Here's some Stampin' Up! cardstock. Cuts it like butter. No fuzzies. Um, this is a great little trimmer if you want to just do your card bases with. If you're not going to do big sheets, you don't need anything else. But I do on occasion use large sheets and 12 by 12s when I make boxes. So if I want to, you know, cut everything out, it's easy. I highly recommend these trimmers. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the trick that I showed you with the WD-40. Make sure it's safe to use on plastic just to help um, your Stampin' Up! blades to last a long time. And you can use foil on occasion as well. Just fold it into fourths or fifths and um, you can cut through and that kind of helped out with um, you know resharpening that blade a little bit so I hope you enjoyed my quick review of the two tonic trimmers I highly recommend them <laughs> um, I'm not going to buy any other trimmer now these are my two forever trimmers I'm done with buying blades and wasting money because um, eventually this ends up being cheaper with a nice good quality guillotine as opposed to one of those blades that you have to keep replacing all the time. I'm keeping my Stampin' Up! trimmer because I like it and also with the WD-40 trick and cleaning and things your blades will last a lot longer. So anyway guys <coughs> thanks for watching it was a very quick video but I do recommend the tonic trimmers. I don't work for them <laughs> and they have not asked me to review them or anything like that. This is just based on my experience in working with these two beautiful products. You will find they will work very well for you and will last you for years. Alright guys, have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!